Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. I'm Mike. And we're back with our second installment of The Saints of April. We hope that tax day was not too traumatic for you this year. Yes. I we're... mean, if, if, if they were doing it on tax day, it probably was. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. If they waited until the last minute, it probably was very unpleasant. May all your extensions be granted. We're going to be covering April 16th through the 30th this time. So let's go ahead and get it started right off now, with one, one of our favorites. Yes, this is one you might have heard of, but we, we just felt like a not enough people know this person's patronage. Yep, we have actually <laughs> mentioned this one on the show before. I'm yep. fairly certain if it's somewhere around here. I couldn't we have find a, a little icon. Somewhere around here we have a little icon. I only found St. Jude. I didn't think to ask St. Jude to find the other icon because that seems kind of, you know, mean. Oh, you're not the saint I'm looking so you for. Didn't, so you didn't Jude, call Jude's, Jude's Jude's totally used to it. You didn't, you didn't call on Tony? <laughs> Okay. Anyway, Jude wasn't his name. <laughs> he's he's used to that sort of thing. Anyway, anyway, so but yes, this is Saint, Saint Drogo, a saint we will promote at every opportunity we have because he's the patron saint of coffee. Yep, and, and ugly people. Yes, and also a few other things, but <laughs> but we have most a patron. Of the, we have a patron the... saint for ugliness. <laughs> I mean, uh, quite often they'll, 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 they'll be like, people who other people find unattractive yeah. or less they, they than attractive they, people. They, they, they try to soften it, absolutely. <laughs> well, perhaps, perhaps it I, should be... I also be... think he's in charge of broken bones. <laughs> perhaps in the current... Which relates to a story of why he was ugly. <laughs> perhaps in the current cultural milieu, we, 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 should, we should promote him as a patron saint for people with poor, with poor uh, self-esteem and body issues. I, mean, I don't think coffee gives you that. No, I'm simply saying, in many cases, uh, it's not so much that people are ugly, but that they just don't realize how beautiful they are. Nate's being chari char charitable, and I'm trying to make a joke. Yeah. He has chosen the better part. That being coffee? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Drogo, pray for us. <laughs> On April 17th, we've got Saint Fortunatus and Marcion. No, not that Marcion. We know either very important details or not at all details about them. They were martyred in either in Antioch. A city. Or Africa. A continent. And at the time, one of the three continents they knew of. So, Although. <laughs> a it, third of the known world. <laughs> in the context of the time, Africa was one province of what we now call North Africa. So it may not be as general as that, but I choose to believe yeah, the, the broadest possible sense of either Antioch or Africa. Yeah, it, it's like when I was looking for the, the popes, and I know there have been African popes, yep. but when I was looking for based on what country would they be from now, they're like, either they were Roman citizen because everyone was, or somewhere in Africa. Where? We won't tell you. <laughs> Odds are for most of them, either you have modern Tunisia or modern Algeria. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> On the 18th, we have... Saint Perfectus. What a guy. Who was a who Spanish has, martyr. Who has, like the best perfect martyring story. Being killed on, e on Easter Sunday? Uh-huh. Yeah. I you know, I really bet that at some point in time the people behind that they, they really realized how much they'd screwed up. I mean, they were responsible for killing Saint Perfect. On Easter. A, a better martyr date would be Good Friday. Because Easter Sunday is not about the dying, it's about the rising. Yes, but he got to, on Earth, celebrate Easter, and then immediately go to heaven to celebrate Easter, and all caps locks, explanation points. How perfectus. <laughs> on April 19th, we've got Saint. This one's fast. Yep. Expeditious. Mm -hmm. Who might not have existed, but is the patron saint of haste. Yeah, he's put on multiple lists that seems to be, it could possibly be a, a typo or, you know. Because like, it's expedient to put them on lists. Yeah, yeah, one of those things where it's like, I need you to are write you, this list of saints quickly, and then he got put you, on. Are you making fun of Saint Expeditus? I mean, come on. <laughs> no, I'm making fun of his chroniclers. <laughs> Fair enough. He, he has a long and storied history of, we have no information on him except for he is either against procrastination or for being fast <laughs> On the I, was, I was gonna be against procrastination but i just haven't gotten around to it yet yeah i'll do it later <laughs> on the 20th we have saint hugh of anzi le duc oh. who was a benedictine from poitiers france oui. yeah i 
I was trying to find one a special for my sister, given how this is her birthday, mm-hmm. and we will not discuss anyone else who has this birthday. Mm-hmm. But the closest I could don't come... invade Poland. Yes, but the closest I could come to was a French saint because her uh, patron saint is Joan of Arc, so at least they're from the same country. Yes. We, for all <laughs> those of you who have a birthday on the twentieth, we say don't invade Poland. <laughs> I tend to favor the Damnatio Memore promote approach. We'll just ignore it rather than drawing more attention to it. But okay. No. Yeah. Don't invade Poland. Jess? Yes. I, I think this one's all you. Oh. No, no. Okay. So <laughs> on the 21st, we have, adding to our series, St. Anastasius the 11th and St. Anastasius the Cyanite yes. the 11th. Patriarch of Antioch, exiled for five years for opposing Emperor Justinian and Justin II. Which is kind of funny. The Justinian said that he was going to be exiled, mm-hmm. and then he died, so he didn't. So his nephew, who was Justin II, went and then did it. <laughs> <laughs> so he got like a reprieve while there was a shuffle. <laughs> but Pope St. Gregory the Great restored him to his see. The Sinite was born in Alexandria, was an abbot on Mount Sinai, and was called the New Moses. Wow. Fancy. Well, you know, you had to tell them apart from the 20 million other people with the same name. Or <laughs> All Saints. <laughs> Moses the Black, our favorite thug. I think you can get this one, though. Number 22. All right. Oh, yes, I do like this one. Saint Arwald, who, one fact we know about him is that it's actually two people, and neither one was named Arwald. They were either the sons or the brother of King Arwald of the Isle of Wight. <laughs> The Isle of Wight? Right? Well, there, there, there could be an Isle of Wight, but there's a famous Isle of Wight. Meh. This is what the some I, He was king of some island. There's, a lot, of un, there's a lot of unknowns about our world. I don't know. I was too busy <laughs> laughing about the fact that this is two people, neither one who has that name. He, Love it. He, he was king of an island. He, he either had two he brothers. British. He either had two brothers <laughs> no, or two sons. <laughs> he either had two brothers or two sons who both had the same name. Poor planning on, on, the, on their parents' no, part. No, most of likely me. neither one of them had the same name, but that's the name we know. So that's what the name the two of them go by on their one feast day that they share the name. Oh, I gotcha. I see what you're saying. On April 23rd, you can be different than everyone else by celebrating St. Ibar of Begarin, a.k.a. Iberius or Ivor, a missionary to Ireland with St. Chiarin, Albe, and Declan. I definitely butchered that middle one. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. It's okay. They're That's very all right, old cause... saint because the other fact I had about them is they might have gone to Ireland before St. Patrick as a missionary. Mm. That's all right because this next one has two Welsh names in it. So I'm automatically going to pronounce them wrong because however had... it looks like they we should, we should have a, We should have like a flashing Welsh, pronunci- yes. Welsh mispronunciation warning. I don't think this is... I think this is the first Welsh we've had in this group. It's been very light on Welsh, very heavy on weird martyrdom. But I'm just Let's saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know I know enough about Welsh to know that however these words look like they're supposed to be pronounced is wrong. For all I know, it's actually supposed to be pronounced Stephen and Jacob. I mean, we, we have another Welsh one later that technically may not have any vowels. <laughs> just, 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 Nate, but this one. Mispronounce the name. Yep. So on the 24th, we have St. Diffnan, who was the son of the Welsh chieftain, Brickhan of Brecknock. Love it. I'm pretty sure you got Brecknock right. That seems likely. Probably, but I'm just saying, I, I, sure. I, I don't trust my pronunciation of either of those other names. Next, on April 25th, we've got St. Fabadius, a.k.a. Fiari, a bishop of southern Gaul who was a friend of St. Hilary of Poitiers. On the 26th, St. Franca Visalta, Bissal- who is a Cistercian nun, an abbess, and a foundress from Italy. Now, I I did not do uh, Catherine of Siena because everyone has heard of her. Mm-hmm. However, I, I think... She doesn't belong on this list. I think they would have got an, along together because apparently she was once kicked out of her abbey she was running for being too strict. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. She Perfect. was running the abbey and she got kicked out? Yep. I mean, <laughs> that, that happens a lot. In history. Uh, on April 27th, we've got St. Lawrence Huang, priest and martyr of Vietnam. 
On the 28th, it's St. Polio. That's a rough name. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it... He, it's probably it's yet? not it's not that polio though. It's got, two L's. <laughs> it's got two L's, and they were murdered during the Diocletian persecution. So, mm. for all I know, they were put in a box with spikes, <laughs> spiders, and, and thrown into a river, <laughs> <laughs> and and and, uh, and um, scorpions, and then thrown into a river. Possibly, but I tend to believe that if this was just someone who was executed in a normal way. That's why nobody was bragging about it. Yeah, perhaps. Oh yeah, she held him in a bag with a badger. <laughs> nope, just martyred. I mean, See. but it would be a European badger, which is much politer than, than either the North American or the I, African badger. I don't think there's a polite way to rip someone's face off. I was listening to a uh, I was listening badger. To, I was listening Badgers to a, hang out uh, with frog and toad and have tea in England. I was listening to a folklore <laughs> tale where a character was actually put into a put into a sack, and then a bunch of other people played kill the badger. <laughs> Which was they beat the mm-hmm. they, they put him in the sack. They beat the sack with sticks, <laughs> well, at least like as though he was a badger in uh, the sack. At least it wasn't metal rods. Yeah, you know. See part one of this month's saints. All right, so for the 29th, this we a- have Saint Ava, who was oh. the daughter of King Pepin, who became a nun and abbess. I'm very impressed that King Pepin became a nun and abbess. And since the daughter I'm, of, <laughs> and since I'm a since I'm doing the Welsh ones already, since I did some Welsh ones already. Here we go. Welsh name. (laughs) Welsh name. (laughs) Warning. Mispronunciation ahead. 30. On the 30th. St. Sinu. Like I said, there might not be vowels. Why is a sometimes vowel? (laughs) Brother of St. Denoyle. Who is a Welsh and a Welsh hermit. However, his brother did get all the vowels. Maybe they split them more fairly. Yes. (laughs) I want some Dean Oil. (laughs) Miss Dean (laughs) Oil. Yes, Dean Oil. So, all you holy men and women, pray for us. <laughs> Comment below with a name that we mispronounce the worst, or your favorite obscure saint we should add to our list. Double if they are Welsh. <laughs> and their name does not seem like it would if be any pronunciation Triple sense. points if they were put in a sack and thrown into a body of water. <laughs> with an animal. <laughs> Why they also have to kill the poor animal. <laughs> Give this episode a like. Subscribe to our channel. Ring the church bell to be notified the next time we discuss animals, sacks, and rivers. <laughs> and until next time, remember to live your faith. Love your faith. And share, share that, that love. love.